This video discusses the concept of participials in English grammar. It is designed specifically for English 7 and English 8 students that are completing vocabulary research assignments. On those assignments, students often make mistakes when they use participials, which should be adjectives or nouns, as verbs. This video is designed to explain the concept so students can avoid this mistake. Let's start with the participle. And yes, that is different from the participial. A participle is a past or present tense of a verb. The definition is a little bit more specific than that in actuality, but this will do for now. With the verb skip, your present tense is skip, your present participle is skipping, and your past participle is skipped. English language speakers often understand the difference among these different forms in usage but can rarely reflect on their differences. Skip, skipping, skipped. Sometimes verbs in English are irregular, so you might see a verb like break, which has a present participle of breaking or broken. Those are participles in English, and they come in the present or past form. Present forms end with ing. Past can be irregular, and if they are regular, they end in ed. The question is whether this word is a verb. Is swimming a verb? Is breaking a verb? Is broken a verb? Technically, in one sense, it is. However, it can also be something called a verbal when it is used as a participial or a gerund. Those are a bunch of fancy terms that you may or may not know, but let's take a look at it in practice. The girl is skipping down the lane. I ask myself, is the word skipping a verb? It is a verb for two reasons. First, the subject is doing it as an action. The subject is girl, and skipping is the action that she is doing in the sentence. She is doing it right then and right there. Secondly, a little clue is that the word is preceded by a helping verb. When an ing or ed word, the participle, is being used as something other than a verb, it will not be preceded by this helping verb. So if you see a helping verb right before one of these words, that is a definite clue that it is being used as a verb. Let's look at this sentence. The skipping girl laughed all the way home. It is not a verb. This is a participial. A participial is a present or past participle that is being used for something other than verb purposes. In this case, the word skipping is modifying girl. The subject is not doing it as an action. In this sentence, the subject, the girl, is laughing. That is her action, and that is the verb. Also, the word is not preceded by a helping verb. This is not always a certain clue to the identification of a participial, but it will help. More importantly, you must understand that skipping works as an adjective to modify girl. It tells which girl. Skipping is being used as an adjective, so you should not list it as a verb, even though it looks like a verb. So what's the impact for your vocabulary research assignment? Well, in your vocab research assignment, often you must list words and identify their parts of speech. If you are listing a present or past participle by itself, that means you are not listing a verb. So if you list a word like broken, or a word like smiling, or a word like distributing, that is not a verb. It may be a noun or it may be an adjective. Check the dictionary for more guidance in this regard. Take a look at these. Broken, reading, fallen, or straightening. If I list any of these by themselves, they are either adjectives or nouns, depending on their use in a sentence. If I wished to list the verb for broken, I would list its simple present tense, break, or read, or fall, or straighten. When I list break, read, fall, or straighten, I am listing a verb. If I list its participle, I am listing something else. So be sure on these vocabulary research assignments when you are identifying parts of speech to pay attention to whether or not you have a present or past participle. For more exercise, you may pause and take a look at these sentences. I have underlined the participles in each sentence. You should try to identify whether it is a participle, or participial, I should say, or a verb. Ask yourself the questions in these videos. If you do this, you can start to understand the differences among words that look identical.